All right, in this video, my first makeup tutorial, I'm gonna be reviewing the Herborean CC Cream. And I've already opened it, I've already, this is the final result. And so you can see me test it. I start barefaced with just sunscreen on, so you just get the whole thing. Obviously I opened the box already, and I will show you what the packaging looks like and everything. They were so sweet and also offered a free sample of their Skin Hero Ginseng Bare Skin Perfector. But the packaging's really cute shiny little boxes and I got two so this is the thing they offer free samples on their website you can go and you can get two free samples and they will send it to you so I had been seeing this product around different people using it on Instagram and I got curious about it I actually tend to uh, purchase makeup from Etsy sellers and Etsy so buying a product like this is something that's different from what I've been doing but I loved it so much from the sample that I had to use it it was also my first time using a CC cream and I am a dry skin type for those of you out there that have dry skin and you want to see how it works for your skin. This is really great because a lot of foundations can dry me out. It can look patchy. This is extremely lightweight. It feels like putting on a moisturizer. So I really, really, really enjoyed this. From the samples, I realized that I'm not the clear or the door shades. I'm somewhere in between and I wasn't sure if you could mix them but I mixed my samples and it worked and I mixed the products here to create my own custom shade and so you can mix these as well. So if you're curious to see how it applies and I give a lot of my feedback throughout the video on the product, the things that I like and that I don't like about it, then keep watching. I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker packaging to put the product on. I'm going to put more of the clear on there, there and then just darken it slightly with the door. And so right now I have nothing but sunscreen and chapstick on just for reference. So I just did a teeny little dab like that of the darker color. So it goes on white like that and then you'll see it kind of shift the color. It feels really cooling and what I also like about it is that I'm not like a heavy foundation person. I used to be and as I get older I actually have been going lighter with my makeup. It feels very weightless and it feels as if it's your skin. Where you know, like when you've tried certain foundations and it feels heavy, you can feel a coating on your skin and it feels like your skin can't breathe. I would prefer to do a lighter foundation and then go heavier with my concealer. It allows your natural skin to shine through because I actually really do enjoy my natural skin too, but sometimes you just want to perfect it a little bit. And even though it's light, I do, I'm a fashion designer, so I do lots of photo shoots and video shoots. And this has performed super well in front of the camera as well, even though it is a lighter coverage. So I haven't really found anything that I don't like about it yet. I guess the only thing that I would say is because it shifts to your color and I'm mixing, sometimes when I mix, I don't know how well the color matches. I can't really do, I guess I could do a little test. But you know, with other foundations, it is the color that it is. And so when you put it on and you mix it, you know what you're getting. But being that I mix this and it just is white before you put it on, that's like the only thing that I would say that I... And that's me really searching for something negative to say about this. I purchased this too, so I'm not saying this because, you know, like, they're giving me anything for this. This is my honest uh, review on this. All right, so that's like one layer of it. It gives me a little bit of a glow. It gives me a little bit of a coverage, but you can still see my natural skin through it. I will go ahead and do, I think it's a little, just slightly dark, I believe. For me, I haven't, I just got these full sizes, so I am not sure quite yet of like the proportions of how to mix perfectly for my skin tone. So I'm going to go in and do another layer, and this time I'm just going to use a lighter color because I feel like I went a little bit dark. So then you can see how two layers looks on. And I'm using my, this is a Morphe, I want to say, yep, I think most of my brushes are Morphe, and this was in a set that I purchased from Ulta, and it comes together with, I think, like, six or seven brushes and I really liked it. I bought my mom a set too and she liked it. Well, okay, now it's working. I can see it lightening the color. That's so crazy. I just saw it shift for a minute, unless I'm like hallucinating or something. So you can see it here. I'm gonna go on and do the rest of my face. If you were just here for this and that's all you wanted to see, then thanks for watching this little bit of it. Um, I would hope you would stay for the rest of it. So we're gonna go to Guitar Center today We're gonna try to shoot some little video for our brand Ethos 33. I make all this by the way And if you go to the website, you can see the details on how it's made. It's made sustainably, responsibly, ethically, and it's slow fashion as well And I know there's a lot of greenwashing So please go to my website and see that we really did vet for it And we have a lot of information and backing up to why these products are made 
with a little bit more conscientiousness to the material and the make of it. So, um, but we're gonna go do a shoot for that. I'm gonna stick with a natural look. I really like this one. So I'll use this one to blend out when I want more precision of where the product is gonna lay. And then when I kinda wanna splay it out and blend heavier, then I use the bigger one. And I usually don't put a lot of product on this one. I leave it kind of empty just so that it's kind of blank to be able to blend. I'm going to use my Fenty Cream Contour. This is in Amber, shade one. I guess I'm just gonna go figure today. I moved all this stuff from my vanity to be able to film where there's um, more space and more lighting, so my stuff is kind of rearranged right now. So we're gonna do this, and I just kind of go under my cheekbone. This is kind of a bigger spot than I usually do. I usually start small and then build. And I used to do like the lines on my face where I would draw lines. And I feel like sometimes if you don't blend particularly well, or if you're doing your makeup in lighting where you don't necessarily see everything that clearly, it can look really harsh and it can look um, not good on days where you're rushing and maybe you didn't spend as much time blending or whatever. I like to use like softer shapes now when I apply it so that it's easier to blend out. It's weird doing stuff on camera because this is my first time doing this and it's like I forget the order of how I do things but it flows so naturally when I do it off camera and I do this a lot so it's interesting how that changes up things. But I use Kevin Aquan sensual skin. I think this is SX04, but I mix this one as well. I'm a big mixer because I have like interesting, I have different undertones going on. I have kind of like a green undertone and a lot of things are too orange or too yellow on me or too pink. Um, so I have to end up mixing a lot. Okay, so I'm mixing that and this is like a full coverage concealer. So like I said, I like to go light on my foundation and then go heavier with this in the areas that I want to be smooth or lifted or give a little brightness to. And I like to go in here too. And I'm gonna blend all of this out. But yeah, this flows so easy when I do it. It's just like clockwork. And then I do it on camera and I don't know why I did my contour for first because I never do that. I get redness under my nose. That's like the main area. And then my under eye, I like to brighten. And I'm using this, this is the Ulta it's like a silicone and sponge. So I like to go up on my eyelids too because then it, it just blends everything. Everything is the same shade. There's no demarcation. And then it primes you for putting on your eyeshadow. You know how like you prime a wall to put paint on it so that the color shows more accurately and more vividly. That's like basically what that does. I'll go in here too. And... I feel like I want the shade a little bit lighter. I'm gonna mix in some of the, I have X, SX02. And this reminds me, have you guys watched that? Um, it came out a while ago, like years ago. But there is a Kevin Aquan documentary and I watched it and it was really good. And I feel like it's time to watch that again. If you haven't watched that, I would recommend it. Um, so I'm going in with a lighter shade and I'm just gonna highlight a little bit. I'm just gonna go, go to the high points and just give it a little bit of the lighter color. So this is acting less as a concealer and more as like a highlight and to give some dimension to the face. Where the first layer, I really did apply that more to conceal. That's why I chose the color, I mixed a color that was more similar to my, um, my skin tone. And this one's a little bit lighter. So it's like in the high points of my cheekbones. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this. The, the contour that I used first was a, um, a cooler shade. And so that's like to mimic the shadows. And then this one is a little bit more of a brownish shade. It has more of a yellow undertone. And this is gonna be more as like a bronzing effect. So that's usually the dot size that I use because look at it, once you blend it, the product is very pigmented and it blends out like a lot. And then I don't really know how to do a con nose contour to be honest with you. So I take what's left on the brush when I do this and I kind of just run it along the sides. I'm so terrified of doing one and having it look bad that I just, I do it softly like that. Just hit it with a, a little swipe like that. So now I will set that with a little powder. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie. And I like to tap aggressively and then the excess off. And I'm gonna do a Rihanna cover soon, so I love Fenty Beauty. I'm actually kind of 
gonna get one of her lipsticks for it because I have like a, a look idea in mind. So I'm gonna pluck some more Fenty Beauty in there while I sing Rihanna. I sing all old music, like most of my covers are gonna be like 90 songs and under and I will go all the way to like 1940s. But I'm like, I don't know, I was in the mood to try something a little bit modern and so I picked a Riri song, which is like not my style usually at all. But I had a lot of fun doing it, so I hope that you subscribe and watch that and let me know what you think of it because it is out of character for me. All right, I'm gonna go with some hourglass and add a little bit of a pink glow just to the top. I'm not a big blush person. I feel like I have like, my face shape is changing, but I have kind of like more of a round face sometimes and I'm kind of cheeky. And I just think like blush makes me look like more rounded and I don't always like want to accentuate that necessarily. See, I like just a light blush. like, Cause I don't blush in real life. Like it takes lots to like make me blush. Like why do I want to look like I'm blushing? I'm not shy or something or I'm not bashful. So I just want to look, I want to look like I just had a run or, you know. So that's the kind of glow I'm going for. But I'm using this Milk Makeup Highlighter. I love this one, it's called Lit. It's called Lit. I didn't even know that. Because this Ulta sponge is double-sided, sometimes I'll go on the silicone side because I end up not using that side that much. And I'll use that, ooh, I like that. I'm gonna use that. That's great for applying. I love my local Ninja Beauty. I'll actually, I'll actually do lips right now because I like to use this and I want to show you how I do this because this is actually a brow pencil, but I think it's a really classic like 90s lip liner. But that's like that 90s lip, you know, where you do the dark lip liner. You guys, when I was in middle school, I didn't have any eyebrows and I wore, I used to wear my lip liner like this. Hold on. Like that, I'm done. No blending or anything. And then I didn't have real eyebrows. I tweezed them all off because that was the cool thing to do at that time. And particularly in my group, my group of friends was like majority uh, Asian and Latino. And like that, this was like our go-to look like in that era. So I like my Angel Baby. I have two of these Artist Coutures. I love Artist Couture and I love Angel. I follow Angel on Instagram. Love him. Angel Baby is the, is like a daily go-to for me. A nude lip is my preference. I think I look best with a nude lip. It's a little messy, I won't lie. So we're gonna clean it up with this. I love using my concealer brush as a eraser like this, just to clean up the lines. I smoked a bowl and I don't know if it's like helping me feel natural on camera. I might look crazy. I hope I don't have bloodshot eyes on camera. I wanted to show you one of my favorite lip lacquers. Oh, here it is. It's like in the drawer. This is one of my favorites. I am running out of it. Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. And this is in Tease. I just put on a little bit on there. It lightens it a little bit more. And it gives me a little moisture to combat the dryness. This is Etsy Makeup. Dab Herb Makeup, my favorite makeup brand and they have their own website, but I found them on Etsy. The, the product is like a little bit dry because I left the top out, but it's a illuminator, so it's like a highlighter. And I like actually using a little bit of this pink. You see how it gives it a little bit of like a, a sheen, like a glitter, but it's a very soft and natural one. Look, let's just, let's just do it. We're gonna put some here too. And then I kind of like using the same products on different areas of my face because it kind of blends and makes everything look cohesive that you're seeing the same color throughout. She's shiny today. Today, I don't know if I want a completely dark brow, but I know that for this area, I like it to be really defined and I don't mind if this area is darker, so I'm just gonna use this here. And then since I'm out of my other brow pencil that is my favorite for up here, I think I might do a powder today. So I'll show you how I do that. I just use eyeshadow. I use one of these. So if you have one of these, this is on the end of one of my Ulta pencils. No, but I'm gonna use Natasha Denona, this brown. Maybe a little bit too light. We'll see. Well, that's kinda cute. It's kinda giving it an ombre. I, I have not found a brow gel that can handle my thick, coarse hairs, 
but I love like maybe I should think about a lamination or something because I think that's what it does but I can't commit to anything that's like semi-permanent because I'm very picky and I don't want to look at that and be like I don't like it like if I can't do it myself I'm not gonna do something like semi-permanent or permanent so we're gonna go for shadow now this is like I like doing face but I like doing shadow a lot even though I'm really boring I kind of like do the same thing I really love this Morphe brush and I let my niece and her best friend play with it and they dipped it accidentally in some glue. So Natasha Denona, love her color palettes. I like her color schemes a lot. It's kind of like suits the kind of makeup that I enjoy these days. And I'm going to go in with this pink shade. So I like to start with a nude usually. And this is a, a pinky, it has more of like a coral undertone nude. I can't believe that I like like subtle stuff now. The younger me is like, what the hell is wrong with you and what happened to you? I used to like do a wing liner, like a thick wing liner every single day. I played with color makeup, color eyeshadow like weekly. And now it's like, I just kind of go for the neutrals. That's cute. I like that. And then I'm going to use the brown shade here. I don't end up using these sparkle shades a lot. I'm going to challenge myself and do a look with those um, eventually. Maybe I'll do that, like a challenge where I use things in the palette that, you know, you have your favorites in the palette, your go-to things. And maybe I will do one where I use my least used shades. I've wanted to do makeup tutorials for a long time. I wanted to be on YouTube for a long time. But I'm such a, like, varied person. Like, I have so many different channels that I would want to do that it just, like, overwhelmed me because I'm like, I have to pick one. But now I'm like, fuck that. Like, I can just do, like, whatever I want. If I want to do a makeup tutorial today and then sing you a cover tomorrow and then do a fashion haul and show you the clothes I made and then do a sewing tutorial and then do a mukbang and then do some ASMR for you and then talk about, I don't know, a book that I'm reading or something that I saw on the internet that made me think about something or uh, just whatever I want. I'm just going to try that and see how that works. But I know that people say, like, you're supposed to niche yourself and all of that and that, like, helps you to grow. And I'm like, I just don't want to. I feel like there's very few environments where like all the different facets inside of me could come out and play and be understood and um, seen. And so I'm like, well, that's going to be YouTube for me. Although I am going to do an ASMR channel and it's going to be a separate channel. And I'm a cat when I'm on that channel. Ooh. I like it. Okay. Now sometimes what I'll do is I enjoy a little bit of a cut crease. I will take the, I won't put any product on. I'll just use what's left on it from when I used it earlier, my concealer. I'm like, maybe it's hitting now, the bowl. But, so I put that there and then I blended it out softly like this with my finger. Like, I just used my brow pencil for eyeliner. And this Tanya Crooks one is really good for that because it's like a darker color. It's like a charcoal. And I think I'm going to do a little wing today. I did this yesterday. We were shooting yesterday. I did this little wing. Um, because I just felt like the lighting... It, it's been rainy here. And I'm like... The lighting is not great. Like I need to give myself like a little pop. And I did this and I actually... Um, really enjoyed doing it. I used to do wing liners, like I said, daily. And I just find that mascara is like enough. I get that a lash is like adds a lot more volume. So I think... I think that I'm done. I'm... I mean, I don't know, I can't see it on the other side, so I hope it's translating and it looks done to you. Okay, now I'm done. I knew something was missing. Um, we're wearing these hats today for the shoot. We just got these. These hats are really awesome. It took us forever to find a supplier that met our criteria. This is certified climate neutral. It's B Corp, which means that it meets really high standards in environmental and um, social parameters for how they run their business. And then it's made with organic cotton twill as well. And then the brim, this was the biggest part, is that a lot of these rims are made with plastic. And so the fabric, only the fabric would be sustainable and not any of the other elements. This brim is made with recycled plastic. So it's fully recycled. And so is the bronze buckle on the back. It took us forever to find a company that didn't just say sustainable and really had everything to back it up. They have a full analysis of the carbon footprint of their hats and they offer a full life cycle assessment of its greenhouse gas emissions. So they really go above and beyond. 
and if you watch this, thank you. This is my first ever makeup tutorial and I've wanted to do this for a long time. So if you've watched this, thank you. I really, 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 really appreciate it. And if you wanna see more, I'm gonna be doing all different kinds of content. So if you have any interest in seeing what that is, please subscribe and I will be seeing you again. All right, I'm gonna go shoot. I'm going to Guitar Center, bye.